BigamRepair.com. We're all in this together. So a question we get asked all the time is, hey, I need injectors. What size do you recommend? I tell you what, the most popular injector that we sell is a 20530. The reason why is you get a 30 over nozzle, you're spraying like 30% more fuel as, a, as of an instant in time when you hit the long seam pedal. And so um, it doesn't materially impede towing, so you can still tow. Um, if you're towing heavy, you probably want an exhaust gas temperature probe uh, up in there just to make sure you don't melt the piston. But the uh, but a, a 30 over nozzle, you can't get yourself in trouble with from a towing perspective, so you can still use your truck as a truck. Why 205? It's 205 cc's instead of 135 cc's. And so uh, it provides you, um, well, in the, in the amount of duration that you've got, you just can't dump more than 205 cc's of fuel, so it doesn't make any sense to go bigger than that. So you've got that conversation. And also, you can dummy down a 205.30 in software, we can help you with that, uh, on the ECM side, to make it operate like a 155.30. The benefit there is that you only have to buy injectors one time, and that's a win, right? Well, you know, if, if you need injectors, we'll sell them to you, but we, let's just let's sell them to you one time and not like two or three times, right? So the number one complaint that we hear from folks is, hey, I put in 155.30s, man, I wish I'd gone bigger. Yeah, so does everybody else. And so you put in 205.30s, you dummy them down to 155.30s until such time as you get the built transmission, until you get the regular return, until you get the, the, the different fuel system, until you get the stage two turbo, all the things necessary to support what that injector can do. But so until that happens, just go ahead and act like it's a 155.30. And then later on, when you want, you know, the ported intake or the stage two turbo, or you build the trans wheel to handle it all, or whatever the case is, we can retune that injector to make it work like a bigger one. And now all this is a tuning change instead of a forklift upgrade change. And so it just gives you maximum flexibility. Besides which, the difference in price between a set of 155.30s and a set of 205.30s, it's like sub $200. Spend it. So if you do that, you won't have any problems. You won't have to buy injectors more than once. Now you do have to change all eight. They have to match each other. So if you're just doing one bank, yeah, you're stuck, right? You're gonna stick with the stock size. And we can still certainly help you out with that as well. That's fine. But if you're doing all eight, now the world is your oyster, and uh, and and no 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 issues there at all. As far as as far as fuel systems go, uh, a stock uh, a stock horizontal fuel conditioning module, a stock HFCM, a stock fuel pump, can handle 155.30s all day long. No worries at all. Um, a healthy fuel pump can handle 175.30s. To check your fuel pressure. But anytime you do injectors, you wanna check fuel pressure anyway after you're done, right? It's just don't have a problem, right? But if you want us to tune it more than 17530, you're absolutely gonna want a regular return. So we can help help you with that with or without a fuel bowl delete. And we can also help you with uh, with the fuel system necessary to, to pump that much volume. So you're probably gonna end up with like a 140 gallon per hour fast system um, along with a sump. So it adds materially to the cost. But that's only if you're gonna push that much power today. That's the point. You don't need to worry about it as long as the amount of power you're pushing is limited to what a 155.30 can do, then no harm to foul, but it's just a cleaner way to go so you spend money one time instead of like, you know, two or three times. So I hope that helps. If there's some aspect that we didn't touch on and you wanna talk about it, by all means, put it in the comments below and we'll shoot a video on that too. All right, thanks very much. Take care. Fickermapair.com, we're all in this together. Thanks. Oh, one other concept. In diesels, unlike in gas, the more power you're pushing, the better fuel economy you're getting. So that's the reason to go bigger on the injectors, just to give you the flexibility of having better fuel economy. Every time you, you're pulling your trailer and you have to downshift in order to maintain speed up the grade, a little piece you should die inside, you just cost yourself fuel, right? And so your, your fuel economy just goes in the, uh, you know, just off the deep end bad. And that's avoidable if you can keep it in that higher gear without melting a piston. And so if you can tow at a lower RPM, as long as your exhaust gas temperatures are in, are in shape, you're not gonna hurt nothing. You're not gonna hurt anything whatsoever. And so why wouldn't you do that, right? So if you can get better fuel economy and put a smile on your face too, um, that's a win.